Hello? Will, what's up, buddy? It's Sub. How's it going? What the fuck do you want? Uh, dude, it's me, Suburban Legend. You said I could hit you up on Skype tonight for that dual commentary? What? What? Black Ops dual commentary? You agreed to come on my channel? When? Last week, I hit you up on YouTube. I said, dual com, and you replied back, fuck yes. Don't you know I would never say fuck? Fuck! <laughs> uh, you're messing with me, right? Yes! Okay, good. Um, let's talk some Black Ops, shall we? Can I start over again? No. But first of all, let me just say, Will, thank you for, for joining me on this dual commentary. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you're definitely one of my favorite actors, and shit, man, I practically have a man crush on you. Exactly! You know it! Wait. Wait, what did you say? Did I just say that out loud? This is awkward. Sorry, uh, anyways, dude, you want to, uh, let my subscribers know about mine and your special plans for Saturday night? We're going streaky! Yes! What? No, I'm talking about the open lobby. Me, you, subscribers, and Black Ops all partying up and playing together? Ho ho! Ho 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 ho! Yeah, now you remember. I mean, not to knock that streaking idea, it sounds like a good time, but. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe after the open lobby? Ho ho ho! Oh! Ho oh! ho! Oh! Ho oh! ho! Hell yeah! Loving the enthusiasm! Hey dude, check this out. I downloaded the new update to Skype. And now we can video chat. Here, let me pull it up just one second. You see me? Yes! Nice, it worked! How are you? Doing good, man, doing good. You look awfully nice tonight. Oh, well thank you. You look pretty nice yourself. Hey, check this out. Well, hello! <laughs> Pointed to your boobies! <laughs> yeah, I did. Maybe don't wear a bra next time. That's a little creepy. My penis is tingling right now. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I was just messing around. Uh, God, this conversation really turned gay. It did, didn't it? Yeah, this is kind of getting out of hand. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Yeah, I, th I think our best option here is to just just pretend like that never happened. Let's regroup, and let's just change the topic right away. Okay, about on the Call of Duty. Uh, I ask all my guests about a Call of Duty developer. So, if you ever met Robert Bowling from Modern Warfare 2 in person, what would you say to him? Robert better not get in my face. Because I'll drop that motherfucker. Whoa. I see you still have a bit of a sour taste left in your mouth from Modern Warfare 2. What would it take for you to abandon Black Ops and go back to Modern Warfare 2 exclusively? I'm not going to. Ever. Even if there's a fire. Yeah, I have to say I agree with you on this one. I'm still really enjoying Black Ops right now, and I can't get back into Modern Warfare 2. But, However, I don't really think you should be playing video games when there's a fire. But hey, I mean, if, if that's your thing, you know, no judgment here. I can also shoot fire out of my ass. That was random. Okay, anyways, back to Black Ops. What's your kill-death ratio? 30. Did you say 30? Yes! Did you just make up a random number, or do you actually know what kill-death ratio is? 15. Wait, what? So is it 15, or is it 30? Don't act like you're not impressed! Well, I would be impressed, but 30 is literally impossible. So, anyways, dude, did you see that uh, commentator March Madness tournament that's going on? I saw that! Yeah, I kind of figured you knew about that. Is there anything you want to tell me about this March Madness tournament, Will? Come again? Yeah, I have an inside source that told me that you're one of the anonymous judges for this tournament. So, uh, cat's out of the bag, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to ask you about one of your decisions. Um, one of the videos by C Nasty was one of the best most entertaining and creative videos I've seen, and he lost in the first round. That doesn't make sense. Exactly. It don't make much sense, does it? What do you have to say for yourself? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you really made a shitty call on that one. You've got a dirty, whorish mouth. 
Ooh, nice comeback. Hey, Will Ferrell. Guess what? What? You're a douchebag. Hey! Fuck! This is my channel, this is my dual commentary. Don't be coming on here telling me I have a dirty horse mouth. That's just disrespectful. God, this guy's a bummer. That's what your wife says about you in the bedroom. We should do this again. I think it was very constructive. Oh, crybaby gonna hang up? If you want to throw down in fisticuffs, fine. I've got Jack Johnson and Tom O'Leary waiting for you. Right here. Oh, don't be such a baby. Do you really want to fight me? Let's get it on. Look, man, I'm sorry. I'm I'm over the line. I just... I, I apologize. I think we both said some things we don't mean. Um, can we just move on with this interview? No. No, 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 no. Now I am I am too hurt. I, I am and shocked and, and offended and, and hurt. Come on, dude. Don't be such a pussy. Get out! Just go! You, we are through! Through! Because of your actions! Let's move on with the interview. Okay. Okay, good. I'm, uh... Sorry, I got a little emotional for a second there. Are you happy that we could work through our differences? Ah, oh, I'm so happy! I can't even feel my arms! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that almost got out of control for a second there. God damn you! I almost numbchucked you. You don't even realize. Well, I'm glad you didn't have to go all ninja on my ass. But hey, I have a couple more questions about that commentator March Madness thing. I mean, how do you deal with the stress of being a judge and having hundreds of thousands of people scrutinizing every decision you make? We can't have anyone freak out out there, okay? We've got to keep our composure. We've come too far. There's too much to lose. We've got to keep our composure. Well, it sounds like you're keeping it together very well over there. Hey, I don't know if you're allowed to tell me this, but I heard a rumor that Woody actually made a big trophy for the winner of the Commentator March Madness Tournament. Is that true? The trophy's 12 feet high! And it is glorious! I've seen it! A 12-foot trophy? Damn. I would love to bring that thing home. No, I live with my mom. Wait a second. You're a famous movie star and you still live with your mom? Yeah. You hungry? Hey, Ma! Can we get some meatloaf? Um, no thanks. Um, no meatloaf for me. I'm good, buddy. But hey, believe it or not, <laughs> we're actually out of time already. Holy Santa Claus shit. I know, the time really flew by, didn't it? But hey, thanks for coming on. Did you have a good time? I had a great time! Thanks for having me! Alrighty then. Well, thanks for coming on. This has been Suburban Legend and Will Ferrell talking March Madness.